another step forward to reform the police department. Thanks for staying with WJZ. I'm Nicole Baker. And I'm Vic Carter. This afternoon, we got a sense of what Baltimore police officers think about misconduct and the city's struggle with crime. WJZ is live tonight. Paul Gessler on what was revealed during today's policing commission meeting. Hey, Paul. Nicole and Vic, good evening to you. The Commission to Restore Trust in Policing, formed last year in response to the illegal activity of the Gun Trace Task Force, had hoped that police officers would respond en masse to a survey on police misconduct, but that didn't quite happen. Less than 9% of city police officers responded when sent an ethics and misconduct survey. The culture of the BPD is. Um, is still not good. Even the police officers don't trust their, where they work. Attorneys hired by a state commission sent the survey and said neither the department nor the union wanted to disseminate it. We have an organization where not everybody is pulling an oar in the same direction. Uh, they seem to be battling each other. Of those who did participate, overtime fraud was the most common type of misconduct witnessed and a frequent practice of the disgraced gun trace task force. Lying to supervisors, lying to co-workers, lying on probable cause statements, lying about overtime. And these respondents suggested that officers need to be caught early in these lies before that leads to worse misconduct. Officers surveyed suggested the GTTF was allowed to go unchecked because of the department's focus on stats and pressure to produce arrest. And expressed a desire to be able to make a smaller number of good cases that lead to convictions. They recommended the department conduct integrity checks and more ethics training, which left some on the commission hopeful. To hear that part of the survey, I want to say it gives me hope um, that um, the, the police officers recognize the deficiencies in the department and want to be part of the solution. Former city police commissioner Anthony Batts was scheduled to be interviewed by the commission today, but had to postpone due to a personal matter. They hope to interview him next week. For now, reporting live at 5 tonight, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.